everyone it's Donna from Donna's corn free cooking and as promised on my last video today I'm going to attempt again to make this English toffee which I've made it several times but I had some problems with my stove and then they couldn't get the parts in to repair it so I had to wait on a new stove which I got so now I'm going to see if this will come out right today. Now it's a recipe that my mother gave me. So I just wrote it down. And it's basically pretty simple. And you can do it one of two ways. Now I'm using milk chocolate chips and pecans that I have spread on parchment paper in a cookie sheet. And in this pot, as you can see, I've got four sticks of butter. So that's one whole pound of, of pure unsalted butter that you want to use. And in this bowl, I have four cups of pure cane sugar. And basically, those are the only ingredients in this whole recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my stove on and get it going. And you want to melt the butter first before you add your sugar. So what I'm going to do is turn it down to medium heat so that the butter can melt. And then once it has melted, then I will add the sugar and turn it up to medium high so that it can start boiling. And you have to constantly stir this mixture. If you don't, the toffee will burn and it can be very bitter. I know when I made this, um, when my mom taught me to make it, I thought I was never going to stop stirring the mix. But I finally did and it came out beautifully and then I've made it several times since then. But it's probably been about seven years since I've made it which would probably account for, besides the stove, to why I was having problems when I was making it. The important thing is you do not want your sugar to crystallize. If it crystallizes, you might as well throw it in the trash because it's not going to do anything. So what I have sitting over here is a cup with water in it and a pastry brush. So if I see any crystals start to form on the side of the pan, I will take that wet brush and brush it down from the side so that it won't cause the mix to crystallize. So we're going to see how this comes out. Now I'm going to stop for a minute while this is melding and once it's melding then I will come back and we'll get the sugar added and get it going. Okay guys, the butter is almost totally melted. So I'm gonna get ready and put my sugar in in a moment and then turn it up to medium high and then just continue stirring it and see what we get. Now when I said there was two ways to make this, I told you about the chocolate chips that I put on the bottom or um, I have seen people use regular Hershey bars and because Hershey bars have no corn products I'm able to use those but I thought for today's video I'm just going to use chocolate chips and if you're worried about milk or dairy in these particular chips you can get just the simple um, chocolate chips that, that Nestle's has on the shelf and they're a couple of dollars more they're about double what a package of these normally run but there's nothing in it for you to worry about just cocoa and and that's it so now I'm going to add my sugar get that all poured in set that bowl to the side start stirring it around And you've got this beautiful golden butter with the sugar. And then I'm going to turn it up just one on the temperature. And just start stirring and continue to stir until it starts changing and it comes together the way I want. Thank you. 
as you can see let me put this over here for a moment from the pot it's a beautiful yellow buttery mix with the sugar and I do have the temperature up to medium so we'll see how it starts cooking hopefully everything will come through the way I want it to um, and not ruin this time so as I've said before toffee can be very difficult I've seen some people try to caramelize it and it just doesn't work out for them I'm hoping that this will come out right this time so what I'm going to do is stop the camera again come back in just a few minutes when it's up to a good boil and let you see how it's doing okay okay everyone as you can see it's getting very toffee colored and it's just about ready to pour over those chocolate chips I'm gonna move that out of the way now because I live at a higher altitude for some reason I'm at 4300 feet so for some reason just was not working so I did what I've seen on some other toffee recipes and I added a quarter cup of water to the mix and that's the only other thing I added and now it's doing just fine and it's pretty ready to pour over the chocolate chips so we will see what we get here okay smells like toffee and I'm sure that it's gonna taste just like toffee okay and you have to be very careful when you're doing this because this gets super hot and it can actually do third degree burns if you're not careful so you have to really watch what you're doing and I've got it turned off now and I'm gonna pour it start pouring it over the chips just like so and then I'm going to scrape out what's left so it can spread and what it does it will ma melt all those chips and then you've got like a candy bark almost on top of it so now what I'm going to do on the bottom of it I mean sorry about that so now what I'm going to do here and I've made a mess I always make a mess but that's the way it goes sometimes so now I'm just going to take chocolate chips and put them on top just like I did on the bottom and then I'll add some chopped pecans now you can actually as I said use Hershey bars for this it will do the same exact thing except you don't have all these little chips you've got bars that you can just line up and for this size of a pan you'd want to use probably 10 to 12 bars of Hershey chocolate with nothing in it and I want to cover this completely if I can so that was why I got the big bag of chips because there's nothing better than the chocolate because once it melts and then it hardens you just break I break it into shards is what I do I remember when I was working in the hospital I worked in an ER and if anyone's ever worked in an ER you know that they're always hungry and you know because they get so busy sometimes they don't even get time to eat 
so everyone would always bring something you know so that they could share it with the workers and I remember I made this and took it in I had nothing left and I used a great big actually it was a bowl kind of like this but bigger and it was a metal tin and it was full as I could get it I brought it home completely empty but it was worth it because everyone loved it so you know it was it was something that I enjoyed doing for the others now I'm going to wash my hands off here get them rinsed and I'm going to get into the nuts and sprinkle them on top. And by sprinkling the nuts on top, it fills in the gaps where the chocolate didn't go. And so it, as the chocolate melts, it gets covered everywhere. And I really love this. This is so good. A chocolate melting on the edge of the cookie sheet and that's really nummy now I got to wash my hand again because they never touch anything if I put a finger in my mouth even though it was my thumb I will wash my hands before I touch anything else again just a natural thing with me Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. I can hardly wait for it to set up. And you have to let it set up. They say let it set up overnight. I get impatient and I want to try it. But if you leave it overnight, then the chocolate, it gets all melted. And then it rehardens. And since I'm allergic to walnuts, you can use whatever nut you want. I use pecans and it just oh it's almost to me like eating one of those pecan rolls only difference is it has no corn products in it now guys take a look at what i have here now i'm going to leave it sit on my cooling rack and then when it's all done and I can break it up I will let you see what this looks like so there you go it's gonna sit like this and cool for the next few hours and then the next time you see it see a picture of it it will be all broken up into the shards and ready to eat so see you soon okay guys there you go there's my uh, English toffee that I made the toffee is still not quite the way it should be it almost is but I found out that that's due to the fact that we're at a very high altitude which is 4300 feet and when I've made this every time I've made it I've been at sea level so that's probably what the problem is and I'll have to make an adjustment the next time I make it but I will leave you the recipe in the description and I hope that you guys will try this and enjoy it. And please like and subscribe to my videos and hit the bell when you would like notifications of new videos being uploaded. And please leave me a comment and I always try to answer the comments I get. So until next time guys, be safe, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.